Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Today's topic is going to be this. None of this is your fault. So, we'll get to that in a second. Finally, a quiet evening. Love it. Crickets, but that's about it. Beautiful blue skies. I don't know, it's got to be around 70, 75. It's pretty nice. Going out to a comedy show tonight. So that should be fun. A couple of friends from, from town. So. Yeah, sorry. My, uh, my phone, my WhatsApp is blowing up. So I'm going to turn off the, uh, the ringer. So I don't keep on hearing that. All right, so. None of this is your fault. It's just where you ended up, right? But I will tell you firsthand and through all my experience working with countless people, blaming yourself for ending up with symptoms or blaming yourself for not being able to get rid of them quickly is not a beneficial thing to do. First of all, it makes you just feel horrible about yourself, like you are less than, not good enough, lacking some skill or strength or capability. And it doesn't feel good. It really doesn't feel good to beat yourself up and blame yourself for something that, frankly, is not your fault. This is where you ended up. Your life history, whatever happened as a kid, teenager, young adult, mid-adult, older adult, led your brain to take on a certain level of awareness and vigilance and being on, on alert for danger. And at some point during this journey, your brain turned on symptoms because it perceived danger. Now your brain is just doing its job doesn't mean it's malfunctioning or it doesn't mean it's being a jerk and out to get you. It just means that your brain's perceiving some kind of danger and turning on symptoms. Sometimes things start with a real injury or an accident or a surgery. In other cases, it seemingly comes out of nowhere. But there, there is a way to find out if your symptoms are caused by your brain's perception of danger. We got airplane person up there. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> I said airplane boy and about two people corrected me and said could be airplane girl so airplane person Whew, at least tractor boy's not out and I shouldn't jinx myself so you do the assessments to find out if your symptoms are behaving like TMS if they are that's wonderful news is this TMS.com that's where the assessments are and the link to the assessments is pretty much in the description of every YouTube video I post. So it's always there. Um, what you want to do is you want to let yourself off the hook. You didn't screw up. You didn't create this mess. It's where you ended up. And once again, I can assure you that blaming yourself, judging yourself, berating yourself, convincing yourself that you're not good enough to get better will delay recovery. But I'm here to tell you, I've seen some of the most scared, terrified people go from that fairly quickly to starting to believe that they are, they're capable and varying degrees of time, depending upon the person. But I've seen people get better in weeks and others take a year or two. Um, but I've seen some of the most terrified, scared people, the most in doubt people, learn to get over their fears, neutralize the fears with the accurate knowledge that I teach all the time. The brain's perception of danger is the cause, safety is the solution. But none of this is your fault. It really is not your fault. So please, 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 I'm begging you, don't blame yourself for this. You didn't do this. Your life history and your brain doing its job is what turned on symptoms. And the natural default response to symptoms is, oh no, right? 
and then we get sucked into the medical system and we get given diagnoses or no diagnoses, but then if we don't get anything told by the doctors, if they say you're fine, our default normal response is they must be missing something. I don't know if you can see it, but in the woods back there, I'll see if I can hold the camera this way for a little bit, see if you get the movement, but there's a couple of deer I don't know if you can see it. They're in the shade of the trees. A little baby and a mama. So it's a nice way to uh, shoot a video to have some nature wandering by. Ah, where was I? Basically none of this stuff is your fault. Please don't blame yourself. That will delay recovery because when you berate yourself, beat yourself up, judge yourself, criticize yourself, you know what that's perceived as? Danger. It's kind of an attack, but the attack is coming from within. So why do that? I'm letting you off the hook. Please take it from me. I've seen thousands of people's stories, and it's never anybody's fault. Right? I don't think I've ever met anybody that says, you caused this. Right? Be your own best friend. Give yourself some grace, compassion, self-love, self-care. And if self-love seems out of reach because, uh, boy, I don't even like myself, okay. Let's play make-believe. Make-believe you like yourself. How would you treat yourself? Treat yourself the, w the way you would treat somebody you cared about and were responsible for taking care of. Would you beat them up and tell them they're to blame, that they're too weak, they're too frail, they're too whatever? Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do it to anybody else. None of this stuff is your fault. If you want some help, go to dansfaststart.com. Series of videos. I'll call it like the best of uh, my archive. And if you just stick with those, watch them, go through, take notes, implement consistently, repeat the process, watch again, take notes, implement consistently, repeat. I know people who have said that just by watching the fast start over and over again, plus maybe watch a daily video, um, that was how they got better. That's how they got better. Um, you know, if you want even more help and direct access to me, I do not do one-on-one -on -one coaching, but the group coaching is not a presentation style where I teach and I say, thanks for showing up. You know, all the teaching is done here in the daily videos. There is a video course in the membership area if you join the group. Um, but the group coaching is literally in a group format to allow people to share their successes, which inspires others, and also ask and answer questions. So it is one-on-one -on -one coaching in front of a group. But I run four sessions a week that run up to three hours long, and you can and will get direct access to me. You raise your hand, you submit a question through the membership, and you will have one-on-one -on -one access to me to express your concerns and ask questions about implementation of these processes. So you don't need a one-on-one -on -one call with me. As a matter of fact, one-on-one -on -one calls probably, I'm not even doing them, but if I were, it'd be about 200 bucks for 90 minutes. You can get two months of the group calls and that's about 32 different group sessions that you can attend and ask me questions in any and all of them for the cost of one one-on-one -on -one session. So. Don't convince yourself that, oh, i got to talk to Dan directly. You can in the group. It's just that other people will be listening. Um, and if you're a private person, keep your camera off. Change your name in Zoom just to be your first name or a pseudonym. doesn't matter. You can still get direct access to me and direct advice. Uh, you don't need one-on-one -on -one coaching. Because I do get three to five people a week saying, Dan, I need a one-on-one -on -one call with you. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do all that. You know, I'm busy doing these videos, coaching the group, answering emails, messages, supporting people as best as I can, working on the book, working on website changes to basically get ready for the book launch, which should be in June, uh, not June, sorry, December. Um, so I got a lot going on. I can't do the one-on-one -on -one coaching, but you have access to me four times a week and you can get direct access to be coached one-on-one. -on -one in a group format. So, none of this stuff is your fault. There is a solution. You're basically, if you're following these videos, you're aware of it. 
Don't convince yourself that you can't do this. You can. I've seen it over and over again. You're capable. You're strong. You're powerful. You're beautiful. I love you. And as usual, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.